Hello guys, uh, my name is Joshua Mike Bamiloye, aka J Mikey, and today we will be sharing my thoughts on this topic titled Should Christians Listen to Secular Music? Let's jump right into it. It's J, J, J Mikey. Again, everything I'll be saying here is an extract from the series of tweets I made about this topic over a year ago. I feel it's a good idea to also bring it into this platform for more audience reach. Now, first, I want us to expand the concept of the word secular, which means not connected with religious or spiritual matters. So just like the University of Ibadan, the United Nations, Oxford, Cambridge, etc., they are all secular institutions. Uh, why, uh, just like uh, Nagio, Wild, CNN, Fox, NTA, etc., these are secular channels. As opposed to TBN, Dove TV, RTM, etc., these are religious channels. Now, to the category of music, nursery rhymes like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, the National Anthem or School Anthem, Wedding or Birthday Songs, etc. Uh, for He is a Jolly Good Fellow. Uh, these are all examples of secular songs. Now, with these examples, I believe we now understand the concept of the word secular. But there is more to it. There is another branch of secular that we Christians call um, worldly. Um, what, what do we define as worldly? Now, 1 John chapter 2, verse 16 says, For everything that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life comes not from the Father, but from the world. So therefore, whatsoever promotes any of these attributes in 1 John 2, 16, that is the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, that's number one. And number two, whatever threatens our faith, 1 John chapter 2, verse 15, do not love the world or anything in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in them. Number three, whatever goes against the features in the book of Philippians 4, 8. Finally, my brethren, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, um, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. And then number four, whatever promotes morality etc. Now these are not just secular songs but we call them more specifically worldly songs and this means that we have three categories two songs number one the Christian songs number two secular songs and number three worldly songs you know songs like how great is our God being at the first um, category that is Christian songs uh, rise or compatriots being in the second category as secular songs and then you know that one being in the third position you, you know the songs we are talking about okay so technically um all worldly songs are secular but not all secular songs are worldly i hope we got that now that we're past the terminologies let's quickly tackle the golden question should christians or should you as a christian listen to secular songs so here is my opinion since we've established that the term secular simply means not connected to religion or spiritual matters it's safe to say that as christians secular songs not worldly songs are like pastries fast food and or junk food i call them junk food because eating them every now and then though isn't uh, beneficial to your health won't kill you either but having them in large quantities when compared to the quantity of healthy food or leaving enough of them alone could be dangerous to your spiritual health if you understand what i mean all right and then can eventually lead to death that is basic so this also means that the healthiest kind of lifestyle is simply to do without them to stick to organic foods and fresh foods and vegetables etc which is what gospel or christian music is so this kind of music is capable of blessing and enriching the spirit setting the right mood and atmosphere for god's presence to reside and strengthen your relationship with god worldly secular music on the other hand is straight up poison full stop it's those little drops of poison that not only enter your uh, spirit man but also your mind it does the exact opposite of godly music that is drain the spirit of godliness sets the right mood and atmosphere for fleshly desires to dominate corrupts the mind and eventually the ultimate goal of the devil destroy so fun fact music is the only element that gains access to your heart and spirit without your permission it is usually called the, the, the language of the soul now, it is one of the most powerful tools used to plant messages in the mind of the listener. This is why we have songs in product adverts. Musicals often seem unforgettable. And that is why the national or school anthem are sung and not recited. And that is why infants and children are taught through music. 
Whatever content the music carries, be it immorality, lust, love of money, envy or pride, it goes straight into you and sticks its roots into the soil of your heart when you listen to them. Now what is the implication of this? Proverbs 4.23 says, Above all else, guard your heart for everything you do flows from it. When the heart is corrupted, it will, not may, but it will influence your actions. These are the things that um, drives people into sinful lifestyles, worldly content. So as a Christian, it is not only wrong, but also dangerous to listen to worldly music. It is even worse for a Christian with many young Christian followers to encourage this. You have no idea the level of damage you're inflicting on them. You're not only hurting yourself, but you're dragging multitudes with you. So some might ask, so what about listening to a Christian or godly song that is done by a worldly person or a person known for worldly music? As a Christian with followers, I won't condemn the song, nor will I endorse it. Um, why? Because if I encourage my followers to listen to it, I'm also drawing their attention to the artist and his past works. And then what happens when the artist later decides to sing the opposite of whatever he just sung? Now this is a different case if the artist openly claims to be born again and has turned a new leaf. Overall, wisdom is key. So the next time someone asks if it's okay to listen to secular music, show them this video and I'd like to hear your thoughts on this topic. So feel free to comment below, like, share and subscribe. And um, I hope you've learned a thing or two. Uh, Till next time, peace.